Okay, class, we are going to learn about commas today. So, let's start with comma rule number one. Does anyone know comma rule number one? Haley, wake up! Dude, dude, call on me, call on me, Miss Cannon, I know the answer, I know the answer. OMG, he just farted! CJ, you are so gross, rank, and disgusting! No. That was so foul! Yet, Christina just used comma rule number one. You need commas when you have three things or more in a series. She said he was gross, rank, and disgusting. That is three things in a series, so they need to be separated with a comma. Hold on, Dylan forgot to say that you don't need to use a comma if you only have two things in a series. Right, Dylan? Whatever, not two in a series, only three or more. We got it, Orlando. You are such a know-it-all. Okay, boys, knock it off. Be nice. Does anyone in this class know comma rule number two? And Haley, I said wake up or you can go to ISS. Sorry, Miss Cannon. I was up a little late texting my boyfriend. I, of course, know the answer, Mrs. Cannon. Would you like to call on me next? Orlando, of course you can answer the next question. Go ahead. Actually, I was going to give the beautiful, lovely Christina a chance at rule number two. Christina, my love, would you like to take my turn? Gross! I am the lovely, beautiful Christina, but for the last time, I'm not interested in you. Just take your turn, Orlando. Well, the rule is you need a comma between two adjectives. Like when I said the beautiful, lovely Christina, you need a comma between the adjectives beautiful and lovely. I'm sorry I embarrassed you, Christina. It's just you are so beautiful and lovely it is hard not to like you. I'll just have to find someone else. We're getting off of topic. Yes, Orlando, that was comma rule number two. Good job, honey, and don't worry. You will find somebody. Christina, stop being so mean. Does anyone here know comma rule number three? Yoshiri? Me name is Yoshiri. Me live the in Spatchelvania, Virginia. Is it right, Mrs. Cannon? Yes, Yoshiri. You do live in Spotsylvania. But do you know what a comma rule is? Me, Yoshiri. Me live the spot of Virginia. Virginia. Is this right, Mrs. Cannon? Yes, Yoshiri. You live in Spotsylvania. <sighs> um, class, does anyone know comma rule number three, please? Mrs. Cannon, we haven't heard anything from CJ today. And to be honest, he can never remember his fanboys. Oops, I had given him a hint to comma rule number three. Orlando, I will get you for this. CJ, sit down. Orlando, yes. The comma rule number three is our fanboys. Two complete sentences put together, connected by one of our fanboys, needs a comma before the fanboy. How about we all do the fanboy cheer? What do you guys think? Give me an F, Dylan. Four, you got your four, you got your four. Give me an A, Orlando. And, you've got your and, you've got your and. Give me an N, Yoshiri. Me, Yoshiri. Me, live the spot of Virginia. Virginia. Is this right, Mrs. Cannon. Oh, that's right, Oshiri. You don't speak English. Um, give me an N, Haley. Nor! You got your nor, you got your nor. Give me a B, CJ. But! You got your butt, you got your butt. Give me an O, Christina. L. OMG. Do I really have to do this? You got your or, you got your or. Give me a Y. Uh, let's see, Orlando. Yet. You've got your yet. You've got your yet. This is fun. Whoop whoop. Give me an S, 
Let's go with Haley. This seems to be keeping her awake. So you got your show, you got your show, uh-oh. And that is all the fanboys, Mrs. Cannon. Well, wow, that seemed to put you guys in a good mood. And we're actually getting somewhere. Um, who in here knows comma rule number four? Uh, whoa, okay, class. Um, how about CJ? Really, CJ? I mean, was that necessary? Yes, Miss Cannon, it was necessary because I farted this time to prove a point. Comma rule number four is using a comma to set off expressions that interrupt the sentence, just like I interrupted the classroom with my fart. Now we will always remember comma rule number four, and all it took was a fart interrupter, I think. Uh, well, okay, CJ, I guess that will work. Um, can at least somebody give me an example of comma rule number four? CJ already gave us an example, Mrs. Cannon. He said that we would remember comma rule number four and all it took was a fart interrupter. Then he paused and said, I think. I think is an expression that interrupted the sentence and therefore needed a comma in front of it. Yes, Orlando, that is correct. Okay, class, last one. Does anyone here know comma rule number five? Um, Yoshiri? Me, Yoshiri. Me, live the spot of Sylvania. Virginia. Is this right, Mrs. Cannon? OMG, Miss Cannon! Yoshiri is right! You need a comma between a city and a state, and she said Spotsylvania, Virginia, and she would have needed a comma between. Good job, Yoshiri! Christina, you are correct! A comma does need to go between the city and the state, and that is comma rule number five. Class, I am so proud of you! You guys did it! Maybe I am teaching you something. Well, I guess class is dismissed! Just go.